I think we're going to start with chapter two. Uh, this chapter about uh, linear equations. So we're going to be solving uh, things that are related to linear equations. Uh, this is a new thing for for grade eight. Uh, probably they had some knowledge, of, a, a little bit of knowledge about it uh, the years before, but not as much as what we're going to take this year. Okay, so uh, the first lesson is going to be about combining like terms to solve equations. This is an easy one. You guys are going to enjoy this one here. Uh, what we mean by it. I mean, for example, you have uh, an equation like this one, uh, 1 and 1 over 3x plus 1 over uh, 6x equals to 36. The whole idea here is just we're trying to solve for x. So we know that we have a, a distance that it, it's a 36 yard, for example, and it has two parts in it. One part is 1 and 1 third of an x, and the other one is 1 over 6 of an x. So if we were able to find x, we could find each part, how much is it? So by this is where we, we use algebra. We're going to involve here, for example, algebra solving for, the, for a variable that is missing. So now we go back to math, normal math they used before. So now you could, you could switch a, a, a mixed numbers to a, an improper fraction, and then you start adding up uh, the, the, the fractions. Uh, then it ends up with uh, trying to solve it by multiplying by the reciprocals. All those things you're going to learn in class. Okay, so there's no, I'm not going to give you more details. But that's the whole idea. So this section is going to be about combining the terms and then solving for a missing variable. The next section is going to be about, I'm going to show you here, uh, it's going to be solving equation with variables on both sides. Now, I mean, remember the, the one for 1.1, sorry, 2.1, uh, the variable was on the left side, for example. It uh, doesn't make a difference, right or left. But now we're going to have the variable on both sides of the equation. So I'll show you an example here. That's one of the examples. So you can see there's an x here, and you see there's an x on the other side. It's, it's the same thing. Now, the only thing is we need to bring them all on the same side. So usually I'll, I'll take the smaller number and I move it to the other side. For example, a 4x is bigger than 2.5x. I would move the 2.5x to the other side. Now, this 6 here, I have to move it to the other side. So when you move it to the other side, I have this equation. I have, so by combining those two terms, which is the same terms are, so and then you add up and they end up with 1 and 1 and a half x equal to 6. And now you continue what you learned from 2.1. So the idea of 2.2 adds one more step before we start solving. So that's how math is. That's how algebra is. So we learn a step, then we learn another step that goes before it, then we learn probably another step that goes before it or that what goes after that. So we're combining what we know. So that's why it's important to understand the sections before you go to the next one. So 2.1 is very important to understand. So you could, when you go to 2.2 and 2.3, it becomes a lot easier. And notice that they could make it more complicated, but it's the same rule. So you can see there's an X here, an X here, an X here. That's, that's normal. That's okay. So you just add them up, put them all on one side, put all the numbers on the other side, and you could solve any problem that has this kind of uh, uh, setup. Uh, now, if we have time, we'll go with the uh, 2.3. Uh, not necessarily we could do that, but solving multi-step equations, we're going to try to do that also. There's, now, remember what I told you. Everything adds up on what you learned, okay? So now we have more like one multi-steps. So you have an X here and you have a bracket and a, two X and there's an X here. So now we're doing extra work, but still we're gonna end up with solving for X at the end. So the whole the whole trick behind it is getting to a level that you need to solve for X. Okay, guys, that's what we're gonna be doing this week, hopefully. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.